I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental, thanks for joining me. Floral notes in fragrances are something that a lot of men might shy away from because of the social implications that flowers aren't manly or alpha. Possibly due to comments like these. You smell like a tart's handbag. You smell like a grandma. Are you wearing your mum's perfume? Dude, are you gay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you five phenomenal masculine fragrances that are dominated by florals. Stay tuned to FM. This is a tag video. I was tagged by Claire from the Smurfy Girly YouTube channel and the idea was started by Scott on his YouTube channel, The Centurion. They both made great videos, so I leave links in the description to those videos so you can check out what they had to say on the subject. So I could have made this video about floral fragrances that many people perceive to maybe smell a bit more feminine and say, look guys, it's okay to smell of flowers. But if you've already formed those associations and opinions, me making a video about it probably isn't going to change your mind and that's fine the intention of this video is not to try and change your mind about what you like and what you dislike what I've decided to do is pick five fragrances that I think are masculine and for the most part have been accepted as being suitable for men to wear just so it highlights that florals are very much an important part of masculine perfumery okay let's get started there are two Tom Ford fragrances on this list I adore wearing this one especially in the summer and it's even got a flower as part of its name Neroli Portofino. This is quite a clean, simple, fresh smelling fragrance. In my opinion, it works equally as well on a man as it does on a woman. Definitely a really good unisex fragrance. There are florals in the heart of this. There's orange flower, neroli and jasmine. Obviously, neroli is a prominent note. Neroli is an oil extracted from the blossom of the bitter orange tree, so it does have a citrus smell to it. In fact, overall, this fragrance is a really gorgeous blend of citruses and florals. It's never floral to the point where it smells like a floral bouquet, although it is still a very floral fragrance so floral but not too floral in my opinion this is a superb fragrance for a guy to wear especially in the summer Neroli Portofino is a simple but effective gem of a fragrance one of the cleanest classiest most gentlemanly fragrances I own is from Aqua de Palma and this one definitely leans heavy into its florals Colonia Ascenza Neroli, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley and Rose are the flowers used here and they're definitely quite prominent but what stops this fragrance from being perceived as feminine I think is the fact that it's blended with citruses, oak moss and vetiver which are all notes that are associated with classic masculine perfumery. To me Ascenza comes off as a more full-bodied version of the original Colonia which was famously worn by alpha male style icons like Cary Grant, Gregory Peck, David Niven, Woody Allen. Okay. Maybe he wasn't quite so alpha or stylish, but he was definitely a man. So these names were carefully woven into the marketing of Colonia so that it became known as this symbol of Italian chic, worn only by the most stylish of manly men and Woody Allen. And even though Colonia isn't quite as floral as Ascenza, it still does contain quite a few florals in there. There's lavender, jasmine, and rose. So possibly due to clever marketing, the very floral Ascenza still retains that classic gentlemanly Italian chic because it's become associated with masculinity. Anyway, Colonia Ascenza is a stunning 10 out of 10 fragrance that every guy and girl should at least try. Next up is my favorite from a line of fragrances that is very much associated with Iris. It's Dior Homme Intense. Myself and many others have often referred to this as metrosexual. Why? Maybe because it leans heavily into its floral, quite feminine smelling iris, often described as smelling lipsticky, makeup-y, or like the inside of a lady's handbag. But this is a fragrance for the modern man, a fragrance that shows a man can be sensitive enough to wear a more floral perfume, a man that can embrace the softer, more vulnerable side of his masculinity. Why do we think this? Because Dior told us to. They released a very floral fragrance and wrote Hom on the bottle. So that means it is unequivocally a masculine fragrance. I just wonder if Dior had released this exact same scent but marketed it as a female perfume, if men would have embraced it in the same way. 
I doubt it. But because Dior spent millions telling us that this is indeed a very masculine smell, it has created this association. And now we're at the point where a man can wear a very floral smelling fragrance and it can actually serve to enhance his masculinity. I know that plenty of guys say they can't get on with the iris, they can't get past that makeup association, but many have got past that and have accepted this. Me included, I absolutely adore the Iris Accord in the Dior Online. Interestingly, I often hear that the Dior Online gets lots of female compliments. So guys, I think the ladies actually like us smelling of makeup. Next up is another one from Tom Ford and another one that has a flower in its name, but this time it's marketed specifically to women. Black Orchid. For me, this one is definitely about association. Before I ever smelled the original Tom Ford, I watched YouTube videos by men saying what a great fragrance Ardal Zafran's Oud 24 Hours was, which is very, very similar to Black Orchid. So I bought it, it was cheap, I loved it. Before I even smelled Black Orchid, I had already created the association that this DNA was masculine, and Louis Cardin have released their interpretation of the Black Orchid DNA, which is called Orchidia Hom, so they're even specifically targeting men. This leans heavily on floral notes of gardenia, ylang ylang, jasmine, and of course, orchid, but the fruit and chocolate accords go some way to offsetting the floral component, so it doesn't wind up smelling like your mum's perfume. I know a lot of guys can't get along with Black Orchid, it's too floral for them, but because my first experience of this scent is tied into it being recommended by men for men, I really enjoy it and it doesn't smell too feminine to me, especially this more boozy Parfum version. The last one is a Jasmine Bomb and it's also one of my all-time favourites from Amouage Reflection Man. Man. Reflection man. That's what it's called, so it must be masculine. I bet that if Amouage released this same fragrance and called it Reflection Woman, hardly any guys would touch it. Me included, and I accept that I need to get beyond just judging a fragrance I've never smelled because of what it's called. Jasmine Neroli and Ylang Ylang are the big floral players in this, but it never falls deep into floral bouquet territory, even though the florals are pretty prominent, especially the jasmine. It's often referred to as the high quality niche version of Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Mal, which itself was known as the metrosexual game changer of the 90s. And Reflection Man does also have that metrosexual feel. It's a sweet floral fragrance that manages to enhance masculinity. Reflection Man is one of the most wearable, accessible niche fragrances, very popular, worn by thousands of men the world over, despite it being extremely floral. So there you go, proof that it's okay for men to wear floral fragrances. All these fragrances have been accepted as being masculine. Granted, they may not be for everyone, but I'd quite confidently say that most men would be happy to wear these scents. I'm going to conclude this video by saying, of course, we make our decisions based on our associations or the mental barriers that we've built up, and that's okay. But if you're a guy and you love wearing floral fragrances, then wear them. Don't bother about whether society implies that you shouldn't, just wear what you love. And if your mates accuse you of smelling like a Tarts handbag, just tell them that you're wearing Tarts handbag, pour on. Okay, that's it from me. Please don't forget to check out Claire's and Scott's videos on this subject. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. It's always appreciated. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.